everyone, it's Crafty Mom with Three Sets of Twins. I'm going to be doing some DIY crafts today, so I hope you will sit back and enjoy them. Also, if you would hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell, that would be awesome. Also, I would appreciate if you would share with your family and friends. So sit back and enjoy, grab a cup of coffee, some tea, and let's get crafting. Oh, I think this is such a clever little, um, just to do a little tear tray. It's actually perfect. I love the way it turns out. I'm not sure what the, the round glass was, but I found it at Dollar Tree and I thought how cute. It even had little glass feet on the back of it. So I'm just making a little simple, little like high rise for anything that you can put, um, in some of your decorations it was sort of quick and easy and I loved it it's actually in my Easter decor out in my um, foyer and it's got little Easter bunnies and Easter eggs on it so you could do different things with it so I think I just love that it was simple quick and easy and it was two bucks so you cannot beat that price at all look how cute that is there it is again. I used it in um, another area because I think this is just sweet. The next thing is I have one of these trucks that I got at Dollar Tree. Sometimes you can find them, sometimes you can't. I was lucky enough to find one. I think I might have found two because when they're there, they're only there probably for the day and then they're pretty much gone. So I was going to paint this one, of course, trying to figure out what to, well, actually trying to figure out how to get the little um, burlap string off or twine because it won't come through. It's going to give me a hard time, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep at it till it comes off and hopefully it's going to come off. So it does. It's just taken me a little while. It was like it just didn't want to come through there. And I didn't want to cut it because I wanted to use it again in another DIY. So there, it's like, am I going to struggle with it longer? Probably. You get to watch my struggle. But it does eventually come out. Probably needed to get like a screwdriver to just push it through and pull it through the other side. Like, oh, well, I got rid of it. Not sure how, but I did. I'm going to take the little tag off the back. Because I want to paint both sides, just in case you put it into a flower arrangement or hang it or any of that stuff. Sometimes these stickers will come right off and sometimes you will have to work it out. As you can see, it's taken me quite a few tears to get it out. But I'm persistent. I'm going to get it because I want to paint both sides. The heat and gun didn't work. If anybody's got another solution, I would appreciate a comment on how to get some of these stickers off without ruining the wood. But see, it's coming off. There it is, finally. Jeez. Hope nobody wanted to steal a dollar item from Dollar Tree. Okay, I've got this beautiful, like, Craft Smart paint. And it's my favorite color. I have two favorite colors. One is the turquoise. And the other one is like a coral. And I do have a lot of corals and turquoises that I wear in the summertime because I love that it just feels so springy and summery. So I'm painting this truck the coral. And I'm going to try to open this. I'm going to paint the other side with the white I 
You know, I love painting, but I'm not a painter. I wished I were. But I always seem to mess something up along the way. But what I'm doing is I'm painting this white and then I'm going to paint it the coral just so that it be a little bit brighter. And there it is. See, somehow I got blue on it. Don't ask me how. Sometimes I don't even know. And I'm going to use the burnt umber to make it look a little bit old. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Wait a second. I do that later on. I'm going to paint the little wooden panels on the truck. I gave it two coats because I just wanted it to look, you know, a little bit darker. Again, I'm going to use my heat tool just to dry it real quick so I can go on to the next piece. Like I said, I'm not a painter. I wish there were. I've seen my mom was a painter. She could paint and never make a mess or a mistake or anything. She had these really, really still hands. I didn't get that from her though. Okay, now I'm gonna paint the wheels black. I've got the chalk paint from Dollar Tree. My coral paint I got at Hobby Lobby when I was there last week. And I used the burnt umber, of course, on the wood part of the truck. I'm sorry it's out of focus. I'm trying to get my camera and my tripod and all that straight because I've used a couple different ones and I'm not really happy with any of them so I'm still working on getting something that I'm going to like but I haven't found that yet I've used so many different things and I'm just not happy with how they turn out but I'm going to get it done I'm trying a new one in a few days to see if that one will work I hope you'll like, subscribe, and hit the like button and the notification bell. And if you share with your family and friends, that would be wonderful. I would really appreciate it. It would help my channel to grow. It's a slow process, but I mean, I'm patient. I love doing crafts. I'm like, I haven't done, I've done crafts all my life, but I have never like consistently done crafts as, as I have on this channel. So it's kind of nice to have that in my life because it does take away from a lot of the stress that's in the whole world, I guess you'd say. I probably need to take a painting course. Although I did in college, so maybe it didn't help. I don't know. I did take art in college, so...
So I'm just going to dry my little wheels. Going to paint the little rims with some gray. It's like a silver, but it's not really a shiny silver. It's more of a matte. Okay, I have this board that was from Christmas and I am going to cover it with the black checkered that I got at Walmart during the Christmas time. I'm going to just place it on the fabric and then I'm going to take a pencil and just draw around it and then cut out the fabric. I think this is the easy part. And now I'm just going to cut out so that I can put it on the board. So now I'm going to use the glue, my famous glue sticks. I'm just rubbing it all over, even on the glitter part. Because I debated on whether to take it off, but it wasn't going to be poking through or it's not going to make it, like, stand out or anything. So there I go with the glue stick all over the board. Like I said, I could put it over the glitter, too. And now I'm just going to press my fabric down onto the board. And I'm going to press it out with my hands. So I'm smoothing it out so there's no bumps or lumps. And just gonna see how the truck's gonna fit on there. I'm gonna go through and just give the truck a worn look. I'm using the burnt umber again, so I'm just gonna make it like it's you know been around for a while and it's sat outside and got some rust spots or some dirt. Put some on the roof of the truck and then on the doors. And now I'm just going to glue it to the board with my glue gun. And I will just press it onto the fabric, making sure that it adheres to the fabric so it does not come apart. I'm going to try to get the little edges with the glue. And I've decided to make a messy bow, so I've got all these ribbons that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to be cutting little strips. And I really don't measure, I just cut, because you can 
You really don't have to measure because at the end you can always cut around and make them straighter or however you want them. So I am just going to be layering them back and forth, different fabrics of the bow. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Sort of pulling out the edges to make it a little bit rougher. Just because it'll look like it's worn a little bit. But I'm loving all these ribbons. Dollar Tree has gotten some great ribbons in. I did a haul yesterday, which I'm going to show on Thursday. And they got more new ribbons. I'm like so excited. And they got more flowers. Oh my goodness. They got, I was talking to the cashier. They just got some beautiful flowers in. I can't wait to show them to you tomorrow. Of course, I went to Michael's again. I got some cool stuff too. But the ribbons and the flower from Dollar Tree, they were just, they're beautiful. And this one is like a farmhouse ribbon and it's got like little cows and tractors and roosters on it. So cute. They've outdone themselves on their ribbons. A cute little polka dot one. got this pretty lace one it's like a really nice soft fabric lace and then they have the little red truck I love the red truck ribbon this is for summertime I love that they still have the red truck it's so cool so you can still use your red trucks all year long because you know, red trucks are everywhere. My dad had a red truck. Okay, now I'm just going to use my glue gun and I'm going to glue all these ribbons together. And you'll see how easy this is to do. You're just cutting ribbons, and then you're just going to layer it. So if you can't make bows, you can make a messy ribbon. And I think they're just as pretty. I do, because you could do as many as you want. You can make it big, you can make it little. Okay, then I'm going to get some of the twine after I put that last lace one down. Oh, I've got the red truck to go, sorry. And then I get the twine. So I have the little red truck over the laced one. It's not really lace, it's sort of like just a nice soft ruffle. Okay, then I'm getting the twine, and I'm going to wrap it around my hand, probably, maybe one, two, probably four or five times. I'm just going to wrap it around my hand, and then I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to get a little more of it and tie it in the middle. Okay. 
And you'll see I'm just going to tie a little knot in the middle of it with the same color twine. And there you can see it. Okay, I'm going to put the little messy bow onto my little board. I'm gonna get some flowers and I've got this welcome sign that if you remember, I did the purple flower in my last video. The purple flower was really a yellow flower and I painted it and this is the other piece of it. So I'm gonna be using this in this particular project. Okay, I'm going to be taking the twine and I'm going to thread it through the welcome sign and then I'm going to thread it through my board because it already had two holes in it. So I tied some, I didn't tie, I put some tape around the ends of it so I could get it through the board because I didn't want it to unravel because then you couldn't get it. It would just unravel the whole thing. But I love the way this turned out. I'm really um, just amazed at how great it turned out, to be honest with you. It just looks very farmhouse. And I just think I was going to give it away, but I'm going to keep it for myself because I love the way it turned out. But I will put it in my co coffee shop so I can make whatever color anybody wants. So if you want to see it and want to buy one, head on over to my coffee shop. It's Crafty Mom with three sets of twins. And my items are pretty reasonable. And not only are they reasonable, 
they're pretty cheap and then you just pay for shipping and you have something really cool And this is the way this is turning out. It's looking so cool. I put some glue on all the little knots so it won't come undone. And then I sort of clip the little, the little blue tape off of them so it doesn't show when you hang it up. I'm just adding the glue to all the knots so they don't come undone. Okay, I'm adding some Dollar Tree flowers to the truck. I've got the coral color and sort of the cream color so I'm just going to put it in the back of the truck put my little messy bow up there I'm going to use some of the little gems to like put lights on the truck so I'm using the clear ones in the front for the lights and then I use the red one in the back for your tail lights and I also covered up that little hole up front on the top of the truck because you know how sometimes people have the lights on the top of the truck well I put two little ones up there like they had lights that would shine like those people that go hunting and they have lights on the front so that when they're out hunting they can turn on those lights to see the fields so I put some lights right up on top of the truck love 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 the way this turned out I think it's adorable I love it I think it turned out so precious and so farmhouse and how cute is this and the welcome sign it's straight it just it it moves with you know the way I put it but it's always straight so how cute is that I love it love it there it is again make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and the notification bell share with your family and friends and I love you guys. Just take care and be kind to each other. And we'll see you in the next video.